everyone has a dream, whether it be owning that ultimate sports car or that beautiful second home in your favorite vacation spot. But most people see these as distant dreams that may never be achieved or achieved much later on in life. Well, according to The Secret by Rhonda Burns, you can have your greatest desires right now. Hi, this is Darren with Philosophize Now. Do you think having your wildest dreams come true right now sounds too good to be true? Well, let's see if this animated summary of The Secret can do just that. So, what is The Secret? It is the law of attraction. And what this means is that your thoughts are magnetic and attract similar frequency thoughts and events. And thus, everything that happens to you is brought to you by your own thoughts. Let's look at the author's own life story as an example of the secret at work. So Rhonda was in a very tough situation. She had just lost her father and was really struggling with the relationships in her family and at work when she was given a hundred year old book which contained fragments of the secret. This inspired her to research and find out more and more about the secret. And while researching, she had a vision to make a film. Using the principles of the secret, she hired a film crew and flew to America where she knew most of the teachers of the secret lived. She did this without having any of the teachers confirmed to be in her movie. And while in America, events and people were magnetized to her and this created the secret in just seven weeks with 52 teachers agreeing to be in the movie. Let's now look at how to apply the law of attraction in our life. This involves three main steps. Firstly, asking. Yeah, you have to clearly define what it is you want. So let's look at my friend Ted here. He says, but hey, I already have things that I want and I haven't received them. Well, what Ted wants is to be rich, but the desire to be rich is not specific enough, as there is no clear measure to know when you have achieved this goal. A better desire would be to set some specific amount you wish to achieve. The second step is believing. Yeah, you need to believe that the universe will give you that which you ask for. This is said to be the hardest step. And some tips to help with this process are visualization, which involves either at night or in the morning visualizing having the thing you've asked for and secondly giving that which you asked for but you've got to give from the feeling of abundance and not as a means to an end the third and final step is receiving receiving involves acting as if you have that which you've asked for this helps to reinforce the belief that you will receive that which you have asked this does not necessarily mean going out and buying that Ferrari you want, but you could do all the things around what you would have to do after you had the Ferrari, like checking how much insurance will cost and where you're going to do your services. Now that you know the secret and how to use it, let's look at some tips and shortfalls that happen when you try to use the secret. Tip 1. The universe doesn't understand, I don't. For instance, when you're running late, you mustn't think I don't want to be late because this will keep all your focus and energy on the lateness and thus draw it to you. Instead, you should focus on a positive like I'm going to be early. And this can be applied to all aspects of life from personal issues such as not focusing on the health problems but the good aspects of your health to world issues such as instead of focusing on anti-war movements, we focus on promoting peace movements. Tip 2. Emotions indicate thoughts. So if you're struggling to figure out what thoughts you are having at any given time, you can always use your emotions as a guide to what you are thinking. As you cannot have negative emotions and positive thoughts, or positive thoughts and negative emotions. And thus your emotions can be an early warning system to indicate when your thoughts are negative. Tip three, using secret shifters. Secret shifters are anything that puts you in a good mood, whether it's music, thinking about a loved one, or one of your favorite places. And then whenever you catch yourself with negative thoughts, you use one of your secret shifters to help improve your mood and bring your positive thoughts back. Tip 4. Make sure your thoughts, words, and actions are aligned with what you want. Let's look at an example from the book. 
Byrne talks about one of her clients who was trying to apply the secret without much success. He is an artist who is constantly surrounded by beautiful women but yet can never get any of them to go out with him. And his desire was to have many short-term relationships. And while discussing these problems at his house, she noticed that he had a lot of paintings that had women with their backs turned. When she asked him about these paintings, he said they were all over his house because he really liked the style. Burns suggested that he change these paintings as these paintings were sending him a message that he won't be noticed and rather have paintings that aligned with what he wanted. When Rhonda saw him six months later, he told her that he had done what she said and that it worked miraculously and he was dating a different woman every week. And this shows you how easy it is for what you want and what you do to not align. And one must be aware of the thoughts which may be limiting them. Some examples are thoughts like I can't afford that or all men are pigs. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below any other books you'd like summaries of. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this.